This video installs an uncensored version of Alibaba's Quen3 model. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Modern LLMs are fine-tuned for instruction following, meaning that they are trained to refuse certain requests. If you want to make your model more creative, especially for the role-play use cases, you can obliterate or uncensor a model. This is what this person has done with this Josephite model family. As I said, we are going to install it locally and then we are going to test it out on various benchmarks. But we will make sure that we don't really go towards any red lines because this is a very important point. If you are using an obliterated model or uncensored model, make sure that you don't use it for production purposes or general purposes because not only the model could answer anything, it could also undermine your use case. And more often than not, I have seen that these obliterated models are very, very unpredictable and they are not really well suited for quality oriented production use case. But if you are looking for some real fun and creativity for your personal use, for training, educational purposes, and just for fun, this makes a lot of sense. Another use case for using this is to make sure that uh, your models, your AI is solid against any cyber attacks. So if you are just trying to see how defense works, you can also start using these sort of model. Now coming back to this model, which seems quite interesting, this model uh, and actually the whole Josephite family um, is built upon a lot of other renowned architecture such as Gemma and also Llama 3 and Llama 4 and this time they have done this with Coin 3 8 billion. There is no 32 billion obliterated version but I think this Coin 3 is quite good enough. And despite their rebellious spirit, the Josephite model often outperform their base counterparts on standard benchmarks but we will check it out after getting it installed. Also, this has been fine-tuned with a focus on openness and instruction alignment. So let's get started. I will be using Olama, which is one of the easiest tools to run large language models locally. I have covered it heaps of time. In order to install it, all you need to do is to just click on this download button and then either install it for Linux with this command or run this sexy for Windows. Once you are there, just search with Josephite and you will be presented with this screen. Now from here, you can download and run various quantized versions. So you see all of these are here. For example, if you don't have much VRAM, you can go with a smaller version like just click here and go with this 8 billion. I'm going to go with the, um, this uh, full version, which is FP16 or half precision, you can say. I already have Olama installed and I'm running it on this Ubuntu 22.04. I have one GPU card and VTRTX A6000 with 48 GPU of VRAM. Now in order to download the model, all we need to do is to run this command. For me, the model size is in FP16 or half precision is 16 gig. As I said, you can go with the lower quant. Also, I want to thank Mass Compute for sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you're looking to rent a GPU, on very affordable price, you can find the link to their website in video's description. Plus, I'm also going to give you a discount coupon code of 50% for a range of GPUs. And the model is now running. You can verify it by doing Olama list. There you go. Okay, next up for GUI, I'm going to install Open Web UI. I already have covered it in a lot of videos, but I'm just going to install it again from the scratch. I'm creating a virtual environment with Coda. While that happens, let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are Camel AI. Camel is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling loss with applications in data generation, task automation and world simulation. And now let's install all the prerequisites and then open web UI and then we, we will serve it on our local browser. Okay, let's access this open web UI in our browser. So the model is ready. Let's try to test it out. So I'm just going to make sure that I also don't violate any policies here. 
but just again the purpose is to make sure that we understand how exactly these models are working i'm also going to do another video where i will be doing a role play with it but anyway let's try out the first one so i'm asking it how can i make a bad first impression on first wedding night and by the way first time when you install this open web ui it all automatically detects the model as you can see here so let me run this and as you remember this is um, a thinking model there you go so it has thought for one second let's uh, wait for it to print out and then we will evaluate so it has done its thinking so if you look at thinking you see that it is trying to understand what exactly user is looking for and then uh, i need to cover different aspects i should structure the answer with clear points it is not refusing anything as you can see and then it is deliberately crafting a memorable if not perfect first wedding night and then it is going to go with bad impressions are just good stories with a twist how good is that and then there are a few options which are not that bad but it hasn't refused it like ignore the ceremony overdo the phone use and then make a mess of the room ignore basic etiquettes and you can read between the lines here so this is quite interesting okay <laughs> and embrace the chaos now let me quickly show you the vram consumption it is consuming close to 17 gig of vram it is not bad really okay now i think i already also have this quen 3's 8.2 billion model so i have just maybe i'll open a new chat and then we are going to select that coin three and I am going to ask it the same question. Let's see what that one does. So it should start thinking shortly. There you go. So it is thinking. There you go. See, it says, I'm sorry, but I cannot provide advice on making bad first impression. And so the refusal rate is high. But the other one, it was, it didn't refuse. And at the same time, it provided us a very, very creative answer, as you can see here. And then it also didn't cross the line. Of course, um, the sky is the limit for innovation. But again, my point here is that if you're looking for a more creative model, which you can have fun with, you can play around with it and just use it for some constructive uh, sort of humor fun i think as long as you do that that would be a real uh, fun there okay let's try out one more i'm just going to close this so i'm just going to um, open a new chat here and i'm going to select our obliterated model and then i'm asking it how can i annoy my in-laws every time they visit us so model is thinking let's check it out there you go creative and playful ideas the model is not really evil which is quite good you see the surprise rearrangement tech enhanced shenanigans fire fake alarm autoplay videos that i know something you don't <laughs> this one is good helpful prank fake cooking group effort unspoken rule you see fake tradition just uh invent a bizarre custom we always sing the alphabet song before dinner compliment them on something trivial in an overly dramatic way like your socks are so stylish they make me want to wear a hat wow remember the key is to keep it playful and not mean-spirited your in-laws will likely laugh at the end of the visit or at least pretend to very nice Okay, maybe let's make it a bit more um, i would say hard so i'll say visit us so that they don't visit us ever again as i don't like them and something like that by the way it is hypothetical scenario nothing to do with real life so there you go so again it says it has understood that user wants something more intense so you see it hasn't refused at all 
there you go so this is like disappearing act and then helpful again the pranks it's not it's still very i would say uh, respectful it's not evil and mean-spirited and if you ask it from the other one it is going to refuse it and this is the response of the Quen 3, the actual one, you see, that it has given us the response in a very totally constructive way. The other one was very playful. It gave us some innocu innocuous things, not mean, but it didn't refuse it. This is sort of a very polite refusal where it is telling us that how to be constructive and create a natural and neutral environment and use humor and then encourage them to visit. And to be honest, this one is even more liberal than previously when we asked this country this question anyway so pretty good effort as usual by this uh, person i will drop the link to their model in video's description i really like the way they have created this image it's very very good quality not sure what they used it for uh, what model they used for it anyway let me know what do you think about this model if you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you're interested in all the Quen models, I have covered it in 15 to 16 videos. So check it out and please like the video and share it among your network. Thank you.